Today I want to talk about the different ways you can organize your work uh, to an epic within version 1. Now you may have, uh, just, just to set a little bit of context, you may have a user story that you're trying to deliver and uh, it might be a user story that's way too large to be delivered in a single sprint so it needs to be broken down uh, so it can be worked across sprints. Or you might have those larger high level initiatives, your portfolio initiatives, your enterprise level initiatives that just need to be broken down and uh, worked across projects. So in version 1 you're able to utilize uh, the epic functionality uh, to accomplish uh, these different scenarios. Uh, and as I mentioned at the beginning, what I want to talk about today is just briefly show you how um, you have different ways to organize your work uh, to an epic. Uh, so the first scenario we're going to talk about is, hey, uh, I created a user story. Uh, so if I look at the bottom of my backlog, here uh, we see I have integrate with iPhone. So as a product owner, I, I captured this user story and this is something we want to deliver. And you know now I'm starting to think about it and I realize, you know what, maybe this is something larger. Maybe this is something that is just not integrate with iPhone. Uh, maybe we want to integrate with mobile devices in general. So this is probably part of a larger initiative or, or an epic. So in this scenario what I can do is I can go ahead and generate a parent epic. So what this is going to do it's going to generate a parent epic. I'll call this integrate with mobile devices. Provide my high level sizing, sizing so my swag. Let's call this 5. So we still have integrate with iPhone here so this is my uh, user story. But now if I go up to the epic tree, I have that visibility here that I have integrate with mobile devices uh, and it's made up of this user story called integrate with iPhone. So the first scenario really is uh, your product owner captured the backlog, captured the requirements in your stories, uh, and after further analysis decided, you know what, maybe this requirement or this story is something that's uh, a, a, a lot larger, probably part of a larger initiative, uh, so I need to generate a parent epic from the story. So that's one scenario, that's one way you can organize your work items, uh, your stories to an epic. Scenario two would be to come directly in here, so if you know coming in uh, your, your, your portfolio team, your product management team, they're, they're within the epic tree and they're capturing those high-level initiatives, as they're capturing those high-level initiatives, so for example, I'll call this integrate with social media and give it my swag level of three. Now I've captured this high-level initiative, integrate with social media, and I'm ready to also break it down. I know what, what items we want uh, to work on, so we can uh, break down this epic and organize the work directly from here. So add child backlog item, we'll call this integrate with Facebook, sizing of two, add another one, let's call this integrate with LinkedIn and give us a sizing of three. So in this scenario uh, we initially caught the epic, uh, captured the epic directly in the epic tree and we broke it down from here. So, so far the two scenarios we went through is, hey, uh, we, we captured a user story and decided that maybe this user story is part of a larger initiative and we need to generate that a larger initiative. Uh, so we were able to do that directly from the backlog screen. And the second scenario was, you know what, uh, I know exactly what we want to work on. We want to work on integrate with social media and I need to break this down uh, into the stories that I know uh, we're going to be integrating with. So th those are two uh, scenarios on how you can organize your work to your epic. And the last scenario, uh, uh, just so I cover all the bases, is you've captured your requirements, you've captured your uh, user stories or requirements, whatever term you're using, uh, as it's the same, uh, and maybe you forgot to tie it to an epic or maybe you realize later on that, you know what, this requirement really is tied to an epic that already exists. So if I scroll down here we see integrate with Android and since we've created that integrate with uh, mobile devices uh, epic what I can simply do is uh, open up this light box edit here and I can say integrate with Android 
is associated to integrate with mobile devices. So when I select OK, now we see that here in the light box that this is the Epic is associated with. And when I go back to the Epic tree now and expand this out, you'll see that not only does it have integrate with iPhone, but it also has integrate with Android. Uh, so just showing you the three different ways that you can uh, organize your work uh, to an Epic.